In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a new circuit panel. Uh, this is my third service panel. Uh, this is my primary one right here. It is a 200 amp. It feeds in to the secondary panel um, using a 100 amp circuit here. Um, so the maximum for this panel is 100 amp and unfortunately I'm full. Uh, every single slot there is filled and I need to have more slots so I'm going to feed in another 100 amp from this panel to this panel. So this is going to be a shorter panel. Um, I have this 100 amp panel made by Eaton. Um, it already has the uh, 100 amp breaker here. I don't know how many slot it has. Um, good amount. I don't think I'm going to run out of this one. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm doing. And um, I'm going to try to show you step by step how it's done. Uh, keep in mind that I am not an electrician. I just like to do uh, these project by myself. And uh, if you are not comfortable with working with electricity, there is a lot of danger and a lot of liability involved here. Um, so only do this or follow this or look at this video if you feel that you are comfortable making your own decisions. Uh, this is just how I do things. It has no bearings of um, any particular standards or approval or uh, recommendation. This is just how I do things. And uh, this is at my own house uh, at my own risk. So please make sure that you consider every step that I do or show. Um, think about it for yourself, whether it's correct or appropriate for yourself. If you have any question and you think you can uh, provide comment uh, to do things better, I, I like to learn. So please put in the comments. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to continue with this video step by step. I forgot to mention that uh, before you put this in, make sure that whatever cable, especially the hard ones that you need to bring in from the other panel to this panel is done first. Like I almost forgot, I need to drill a hole from this panel to this panel, especially right here, so that I can bring it over. Uh, I can bring over cable that is. And I almost forgot to do that. So make sure you remember to do that uh, before you screw this new panel in because afterwards it's gonna be pretty hard for you to do that um, Yeah, it'll be much easier uh, like this Okay, I got the uh, circuit panel in but it's so tight that I have to knock it in with a rubber mallet so It's good for it to be tight I'm not sure this tight, this tight is actually that good but um, um, I think it's gonna fit really good though. Okay, I got the panel um, installed. I screwed the panel uh, using these screws here. There's one, two over there, and three there, and the fourth one there. Um, it was a very snug fit, so between the snug fit that I have to hammer this panel in, plus these four screws, I don't think this panel is going anywhere. Um, I also drilled a pretty large hole uh, right there, and uh, that hole is what I'm going to use to feed in the cables from this main panel uh, to this uh, third panel and uh, all the cable is going to go through there um, i can also feed in some cable from the bottom if i need to in case that hole is not good enough or big enough um, i have some possibility of sneaking some holes from down here um, right there so that i can feed it from under here if needed um, yeah that's it so I'm going to do the uh, wiring next. Um, 
I'm going to pick this particular breaker here which is for my AC and uh, I'm going to put a hundred amp um, break, breaker here and uh, 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 probably a six gauge cable goes across and then connects to this hundred amp breaker here so it's a hundred to a hundred cable going um, across I'm going to get uh, the ground across also and the neutral across as well uh, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do and then I'm going to take the uh, 50 this is a 50 amp breaker once again here uh, so that the AC now will be powered by uh, this third panel um, so nothing is going to be missing I'm just borrowing or replacing the uh, the needed space that that uh, I need for that breaker to, to transfer the power over to here okay the panel is uh, currently uh, done um, I'm sorry I didn't uh, actually take videos uh, when it was um, in progress or I'm working on it but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explain uh, all the different components one by one um, I have uh, another video that shows how I installed this particular cable here. This is the cable uh, for my car, electric car, it's a Tesla Model S. And uh, this is uh, going to this uh, circuit breaker for 60 amp. So if you look, uh, if you would like to see uh, how that was done or how, if you have a Tesla or other uh, electric vehicle, you want to see how it is, uh, to properly install your own charger outlet that uh, watch that video um, okay now going back to how to install this uh, sub panel um, so what I did is uh, since my last video about this is to feed in the actual electricity to this hundred amp circuit breaker here so this cable right here you can trace it back to this particular breaker here Okay, so this is my main breaker, and this is uh, uh, the breaker that goes to my left sub panel, and this is the breaker that goes to my right sub panel that I just installed. So basically, um, I just have two. Uh, these are um, six gauge cables. I'm sorry, these are actually four gauge cables. Yeah, four gauge cable that goes from here to uh, this breaker here. So for 100 amp, you need to have a 4 gauge uh, stranded copper cable uh, rated at 600 volt. Uh, this particular one, and you also need to have the uh, uh, proper common cable, which is that black cable right there, going to the common bus bar uh, or neutral. And you also need to have the uh, uh, copper. Um, ground cable so that's a six gauge pure copper solid ground and that goes from there to the back there and to the actual main breaker uh, ground bus bar um, so what I did first was actually the uh, the ground the common after I'm done with that then I, I, I did the uh, the two um, actual uh, hot cables um, I also have the uh, air condition for one of my uh, condenser here for now that's because I had to make room um, it was here and I had to make room for it that's why I uh, had to move that there so I just simply took the cables that was there uh, just redirected towards the uh, the hole that I have there um, and move it down to here that's all I did and um, <clears throat> so it's using the same breaker as before uh, and then this this uh, slot right here was empty so that I can put the 100 amp um, circuit breaker that goes to that sub panel so everything is um, operating normally I checked the voltage everything is good um, there's absolutely no sparking everything is tightened I double checked twice um, yeah so everything is good um, next what I'm gonna do is uh, this is actually going to be my um, emergency uh, sub panel winning when we are actually out of um, grid power 
um, and uh, the generator will kick on uh, this is going to be the only panel that will actually supply uh, or that will actually have electricity and uh, it can get electricity either from a uh, generator uh, and or the uh, um, my solar panels uh, which are right now here and here but later on I'm actually going to move those to this panel here um, yeah so that's it for this particular video of how to add or how I added my sub panel a um, little disclaimer before I finish up this video uh, again um, please do not follow or do or attempt to do any of this electrical work if you're not comfortable with uh, electricity or working with electrical uh, work um, this is very dangerous and you can cause fire you can harm yourself you can get electrocuted you can actually die so make sure that you know what you're doing this video doesn't come close to cover anything that or everything that you need to know about how to be safely working um, with electricity uh, at the very least um, if you are very new to electricity make sure that your main breaker is off and you're not operating you're not working while the uh, electricity is hot okay so be very careful take every step every everything that you do needs to have pre-thought pre-planning and you know exactly what you're going to be doing and make sure that it's not hot do not work with live electricity everything that i do i always take precaution that uh, if i'm going to be running this cable right here this either the main breaker is off or this circuit breaker is going to be off there is no electricity where i'm actually having my hand or screwdriver on that's really um the rule having said that um again you are watching this and, and looking at this instruction at your own risk uh, i'm not responsible for any damage uh, any harm uh, death etc any risk basically uh, from um, watching this video and following any of my instruction so do this at your own risk um, having said that hopefully uh, this video has been useful if it is uh, please give it a thumbs up share it to who you feel that can benefit from this video and um, please consider subscribing to my channel thank you thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself.